So remember Rochelle Rochelle from Seinfeld? Rochelle Rochelle. Rochelle Rochelle. Rochelle Rochelle. Rochelle Rochelle. It was the fake movie that was a running joke in the series. And every time they mentioned it, they'd say, A young girl's strange erotic journey. A young girl's strange erotic yeah. journey. From Milan to Minsk. From Milan to Minsk? Yeah. Now I love Seinfeld. Hell, the banner of my YouTube channel is a ripoff of their logo. So I'm traveling from Milan to Minsk and having a strange erotic journey of my own. This is Milan to Minsk, a Seinfeld travel show. Well, I have left Milan and I'm finally making my way towards Minsk and the first stop is here in Zurich where I got a nifty little Airbnb. It was like a three or four hour train ride through the Lake Como region in the Swiss Alps, which is basically like the most romantic area ever. So if you're gonna take a strange erotic journey, it should definitely be on the list. Now I left the warm confines of my apartment and ventured out into the cold because I wanted to go to a bar called, let me see if I pronounce this right, Opfelschammer. And the reason I wanted to go there is because they have a very specific drinking game where you hang from a ceiling beam, then try to drink a glass of wine while hanging upside down. Awesome, right? Well, it's Sunday, and I just discovered that they're closed on Sundays. What the hell? What kind of bar is closed on Sundays? Haven't they ever heard of Sunday Fun Day? Now, I suppose I could go to another bar that doesn't have novelty drinking games, but I got kind of a big day tomorrow. I'm heading to Mount Pilatus outside the city, and I'm gonna get intimately acquainted with the Swiss Alps. Now, would you look at me not going to a bar? Never thought I'd see the day, I'm so responsible. Okay, now getting to the mountain is a bit of a convoluted trip. Allow me to explain. First I take a tram to the train station, then I take a train to Lucerne, then take the bus from Lucerne to Creens, then from the bus stop it's a 10 minute walk uphill to the gondola station, then take this gondola all the way to the top of the mountain, then take a cable car to get to the tippy top of the mountain, then walk up a giant set of icy steps to get to the super duper top of the mountain. <laughs> Swiss Alps are real and they are spectacular. Oh baby, it is cold up here. 7,000 feet high in the middle of winter. Luckily, I load up on winter clothes before I came. I got long johns, t-shirt, jeans, thermal shirt, other thermal shirt, neck warmer, hat, and jacket. So I'm doing all right. Besides, I grew up in the Northeast. I fear no cold weather. It's crazy icy up here though. You really gotta watch where you're walking, you'll fall on your ass. People keep telling me I got way too big a smile on my face considering how cold it is, but come on, how are you not gonna smile up here? They also sell beer up here, and if you thought I was gonna come all the way up here and not get a beer, then you don't know me very well. I could probably chill up here a lot longer, but the sun is starting to go down, so it's time to head back to Zurich. You know what that means. Take the cable car partway down the mountain. Take the gondola the rest of the way down the mountain. Walk 10 minutes back to the bus stop. Take the bus back to Lucerne. Grab a beer in Lucerne to recharge. Maybe two beers. Then take the train all the way back to Zurich. Hop on the tram back to my Airbnb. And voila, I'm back. Now, I head to Munich first thing in the morning, but in my time here, I kept hearing about how great Swiss chocolate was, so I grabbed some on my way back. Hmm, they were right. It's chocolate, it's peppermint, it's delicious. It's very refreshing. <laughs>